an award that's as hard to come by as LA street parking. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences created the notorious Man Statue, AKA the Oscar, to commemorate trailblazers in the arts. But why the Oscar? And who the fuck is Oscar? In all seriousness, we should be giving out statues of Oscar. Everyone knows him, and he makes the best carne asada in East LA. Latinos have had their impact on American cinema for quite some time, and on this particular occasion, we're going all the way back to the 20s. The 1920s, that is. So tell me, what you know about the man who inspired the Oscar statue, Emilio El Indio? Picture this, it's the 1920s. Jazz is in the air, short dresses, short hair. However, it was still the age of the Model T that had a top speed of 28 miles per hour. You know what else has a top speed of 28 miles per hour? My heart, when it beats for you. Yes, you. Anyway, back to the Oscars. The Academy was formed in 1927, and in preparation for their first ceremony in 1929, MGM art director Cedric Gibbons was tasked with coming up with something memorable. You know, a well-balanced 24-karat gold-plated paperweight thing that shines like no other. This is a telenovela because Cedric Gibbons was married to Dolores del Rio, the first Mexican actress to successfully cross over into American cinema, and she was best friends with Emilio El Indio Fernandez. Familia helped out Familia, and the legend goes that Cedric asked Emilio to pose to create the sketches he would then send to the sculpturist. The Academy has not confirmed this story, but El Indio and the Oscar have quite a few similarities. Guillermo Reyes, professor at the Sidney Poitier New American Film School at ASU, recounts, quote, he had also been a soldier. He came right during the Mexican Revolution. He was abandoning the revolution, actually, so yeah, he was fit. We're talking puro Mexican muscle vato. Mexican muscle representing American cinema. <sighs> What is even more incredible is that Emilio is regarded as one of the most talented actors and directors of Mexico's golden age in film. Hold up, time check. It's the 1940s. The world is going through a second world war. Hollywood has other priorities and Mexico becomes a supplier of tools which brought in those pesos. The result, peak levels of production and the era of Maria Felix, Pedro Infante, Cantiflas, and our guy, Emilio Fernandez. Emilio, born to a revolutionary father and a Kickapoo mother, grew up super patriotic and proud of his roots, dubbing himself El Indio. As a colonel in the Mexican military, he was a part of Adolfo de la Huerta's failed insurrection against the Obregón reign and was taken to prison. This man escapes and moves to the good old USA, where he worked almost every job in Los Angeles, working as a bartender, a laundry employee, a press assistant, and finally, as an extra in Hollywood. El Indio's biography says that Huerta was the one encouraging him to stay in film. Quote, you are in the mecca of film, and film is the most effective tool we humans have to express ourselves. Learn to make movies, and you return to our homeland with that knowledge. Make our films so you can express your ideas so they reach thousands of people. The man took those words as law and became one of the Avengers of the Golden Age. The group included Mauricio Magdaleno, Gabriel Figueroa, Dolores del Rio, and Pedro Armandariz. Our people were traveling. As two of Fernandez's films won the Grand Prix at the Cannes Film Festival and was nominated for the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival. I think it's fair to say Emilio deserves to be given an honorary Oscar, or as we all know it now, El Indio. Who's Oscar? He doesn't even go here. Oscar apparently comes from the Academy librarian who said the statue looked like her uncle Oscar. All of a sudden. Well, the Academy adopted the nickname officially in 1939, and that wraps the history of the Academy Awards Oscars, which are actually El Indios, who is a Mexican icon being used to commemorate American icons. So never forget that at 13 and a half inches tall and eight and a half pounds, Latinos are being represented in gold. I'm Bruno, and this is my message to reignite the Mexican Avengers and take over the world. Or at least maybe I would like some free coconut water. The price keeps going up. <laughs>